We're here at NAB 2019 with Klaus from Ambient. Uh, you've got some new slating ACN stuff. Tell us about yes, it. Yes, act yeah. Um, actually, it is part of the master locket firmware. Uh -huh. So first of all, is what is new in there is the slate view that is available on the master locket by logging into in its Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. But also, it the master locket um, is a metadata hub already, and mm -hmm. we use this function actually to create script-generated uh, slating information to distribute mm -hmm. across the set into the sound mixer, into the sound report, um, onto that meta slate screen, and even into the cameras. Mm -hmm. So, so we've got the meta slate view over here, right? And then this would be the script supervisor uh, view, and then this is the sound mixer view. So, if you make a change there, does it propagate over here or yes, vice versa? Ab absolutely. So, I mean, there is there is a certain hierarchy when it comes to uh -huh. things. So, the, the slate view um, operates completely autonomously. So, you uh -huh. can really if you have um, a clapper loader that wants to use that feature and the sound mixer has one of the master lockets on the sound card, mm -hmm. um, we can do that here, but changes made here will translate to the sound report, uh -huh. but they will not translate to the script supervisor app because script supervisor is in the hierarchy is, is higher, so uh -huh. he's always, she's always right. Uh -huh. Whatever script supervisor does, is valid for that's the job, actually. right? So, uh huh. And so this, so all three of these slates are, of these iPads are linked through the master locket. Yes, actually, the master. I mean, what we see here on the mm -hmm. sound report and on the slate is a web interface on mm -hmm. uh, the master locket itself. While the script app is a self-contained application that talks to the master locket. Uh -huh. So whatever script supervisor enters here as slating information, like um, the scene, the take will translate uh, down the line. Even uh -huh. production name, um, camera operator name, director name, sound mixer, it's all going to be distributed and uh, all of that also going into the sound report. So the sound mixer doesn't have to type in everything, so once he decides, he needs to tick the, the box to accept ACN slating, but then he will benefit and, and get that information automatically. Mm -hmm. And then the, the actual slate, is this linked into the whole thing as yes, well? Yes, absolutely. So we're not using Wi-Fi, we're also using the ACN, and the moment I hit the slate, it shows up big and it shows the slate at time code with frame accurate. Uh -huh. and, and so other than the you know lack, other than not having to enter so much data on, on the set because you're getting it from other places, what are the benefits down the line? Well, actually, we, we did the math and using our time code system or any Frame accurate time code helps to save two hours in post. When you embrace the metadata workflow, it helps you to save another two hours. So we have this in place in serial productions, mm -hmm. which is also why we catered for for episodes, in it, mm -hmm. which is very important uh, mm -hmm. for our customers. Also, what is new is that we trans uh, for shooting day. Uh -huh. It's not supported by cameras and sound mixes, but we, we're pushing that. So we're trying to get as many manufacturers on board. Uh, everything is open in our world, so the, the API and everything that we do is available. You can pull that down, not only off the web, but also off the master locket. It's all there. And that helps to save another two hours. So uh -huh. on a 100 shooting day production, um, you save one month in post. Mm -hmm. So just oh, to wow. give you a number, and that's quite enormous. So basically, you can take all of your, your hardware with the master locket, uh, integrate time code, and then have all the metadata integrated and going into post. Yes, absolutely. And I mean, since the, the workflow of the locket network, that cloud-based workflow, mm -hmm. um, is completely autonomous, but mm -hmm. we, we go beyond that because when we distribute that, um, we go even in, in the camera. So right now we are supporting ARRI cameras and RED yeah. cameras. So mm -hmm. whatever you make here, the production name, the slating information, will load into the camera. So if, if the camera goes into record, it will have the information already. Mm -hmm. So and that, that's an additional benefit for post because they have in the files actually already available that piece of metadata that was previously up to now. Mm -hmm. They needed to read it from the reports, but now it's right within the files. You see which scene, which take it is. So even if the camera's scene and take are not named correctly as a file name, when they bring it in, they exactly. see it. Exactly, it's metadata. in the metadata. So ah. we just load that to the camera, and once the camera goes into record, it will load that metadata set mm -hmm. and store that in the ALE. Cool. All right. Uh, anything else we should see? There's a lot to see and a lot to play around yeah. because there, there, I mean. 
there are details about yeah. everything. What we learned is European slate different than uh, US uh, productions too, so we can switch between Euro and uh -huh. uh, uh, US slating. Uh -huh. Same goes for the date. Um, so if I decide to go with the European date, it will show up in uh -huh. the European date scheme. If I uh, decide to go with the American, it shows American date. There you go. Um, and what you also see is that we have revised the interface of the master locket. We, we had formerly we had tabs. Now we have icons, which mm -hmm. helps to save place and is more intuitive and then mm -hmm. easy to operate. And also make, gives us the option to operate a slate and. Uh, with, uh, when the firmware comes out in a couple of weeks, uh, also all the other tabs in full screen mode, so you don't, because it's a browser interface, but you, you actually waste that space and you don't do that any longer. Uh -huh. Cool. And is this available now and with the new no, firmware? No, this is upcoming. So okay. this is building on the 6.0 that we just uh -huh. released a couple of weeks ago, but uh -huh. we decided to make, that took us quite a while to go from 5, which was planned or scheduled to be a 5 derivative, and uh -huh. we've packed in features and features and features. And Wait a moment, this is so different, this is so much more, we need to call it 6. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so this will be the next release of the 6 when we're set two weeks or something like oh, that. Oh, two weeks, okay, got it, cool. Klaus, thank you so much. Thank you, Nick. All right.